I uh, spill the certified biofeedback technician up here in Northern California. Thanks for watching. Today we're going to just check a couple things. It's like a shotgun approach to stress. And so we're going to sort of streamline the process. And so at this point I'm not going to test. So I'm going to keep the last info report. And so basically what we're going to do is we're going to, we're going to load uh, test items in the hold tray and then uh, test the items in the hold tray. And we want to set Uh, this to autofocus three minutes app. Uh, when we do that, before we put all the items in the hold tray and test those items. And so after we've done that, we're going to look a little bit up here and to see where some of the stressors are in the body. So uh, it says EEG and ECG uh, dysfunction and hyperreactivity dysfunction. And so we can explore that a little bit further later on. And cross reverence, uh, for instance, we go to. Uh, allergies and see if there's something that's reacting high here and try to de-stress that simply we can click on that and add some electrophysiological uh, therapeutics but back to the shotgun approach to relieving stress so what we're going to do is go to risk profile And simply enough, we're going to take the top three items. The ones that are, have reacted, the uh, client has reacted too high. Um, sugar regulations usually comes up high. Food poisoning comes up high as well, and we're going to add some electrophysiological uh, feedback to help reduce stress in those areas. And usually this doesn't take very long. And then we're going to go right down the list from basically the top to the bottom of this page. And so you'll see in the top it's Oriel oriental herbs and then we're going to find some high numbers and possibly a couple of real low numbers usually I just work with the high numbers and so we're going to add some a few items that may reduce stress a sedative electro signature or a liver electro signature of an oriental herb and so whatever you think is good this is a expectorant for the lungs will will be uh, sending the client a an electronic signature of various herbs Oriental herbs or Chinese herbs. And so basically, what we do is 
We're going to test the items in the whole tray. And then we're going to make a report. So we're just going right down the top of the uh, risk profile page into the various items making a report so that we can do the rectification at the end of the session and all this information will be there for the rectification. So we're going to go into minerals. We're going right down the page on the risk profile. And so zinc is coming up. Calcium, of course, is coming up. Potassium as well, coming up. Magnesium for the adrenals and oxygen. And... Aluminum. and gold as well for detox and so basically we just test the items in the hold tray and distress so we're going to make a report and we're going right down the line on the risk profile so next is the amino acids and we're going to look for some high reactivity and click on those and possibly some low reactivity ones and whatever you feel is appropriate and again we're going to test the items in the whole tray And then we're going to make a report of the edit. And we're simply going down the line here. Okay, let's check the electromagnetic or perverse energy. And so we see alpha, beta, 235. We want to deal with that because that may be related to nuclear fallout. And we have a lot here in California, that's for sure. And we're going to test the items. Going right down the line on the risk profile. at the end so as you can see this is pretty simple going right down the line and going into the pages related to different items and this is the virtual DR is one of the programs I pretty much always go into. And it's going to gather some information related to the client's electrophysiological response to various signatures of vitamins, minerals, homeopathic remedies, etc. And so some of the things that came up were sinus, uh, eye stress, anxiety, antagonism, uh, lymph stress. Thyroid stress, 
again possibly linked to the radiation fallout in the air and food. Zeolite may help food uh, to release some of its radioactivity. So if you can put your food uh, in the refrigerator or in a, con in a container with zeolite, it may help to reduce the radioactivity slightly, according to Mr. Hutchinson. And so normally from here I go into the homotoxicology and info click first in xenobiotics and usually work with the top uh, five items to de-stress. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, insect insecticides have come up fairly high at 123 and halogens at 103. Halogens of course could be fluoride. The fluoride they put in our water. And uh, I usually drink a combination of distilled water and spring water. Artesian spring water would of course be the best. Okay, and then we want to make a report of that. If possible, and close and close that. So from here, again, we're going into the shotgun approach to stress reduction, and we're going into the Universal Biofeedback bio Therapy page. And then you'll see right here on the top, we have several items. Of course, the purple and the yellow are the suggested items. The color therapy is suggested. And as well, the trivector and DNA, the stress programs are suggested. But if you look here, you'll see up here on the top, the auto meridian, which is, would be the automatic electroacupuncture program. And so I normally do that. And then going right down the line on this page, we go to the auto scaler. And we click uh, de-stress all the chakras and then we go to the auto frequency and this is the auto focusing rife program and we're going to close we're not going to do this but I'm just showing you the shotgun approach to stress that I usually use and Here we have the Auto Varho program. Very powerful. So, this Auto Varho program started automatically. And so there's a couple things you can do here, if you like. Basically, you want to start the de-stressing. And my friend Rainia is giving some subliminal suggestions in the tape for positive thinking. Uh, you will hear in the background. And so, 
right here on this page we have some very powerful programs and that's my shotgun approach to stress reduction and then this one here would be the mental NLP interface uh, I believe it's mainly geared toward addiction so if you have someone who's addicted to cigarettes, coffee, or candy, you can ask them def to define, define the aberrant thought. Describe the first incident uh, when you were involved with it. Describe the last incident when you were involved with uh, the ab addictive substance. And what benefits from this are there. Now this will start a chronological order in the client's mind and sort of so the client can get an idea of when they started and they basically have a chronology of their addiction and so this will make it a little bit easier to um, let go of that and then define the cure that you want and so hopefully they will want a cure and then what is desired different and so that I don't normally go into that but I went there and I wanted to explain that and so since we're here um, basically that's the shotgun approach I use and then from here a lot of times if I don't have a lot of time I'll go into um, quick therapy muscle re-education for, for athletes it used to be called the sports program um, so I usually go there and then if I have time I'll go into the NLP and again I usually go and test the different ages and look for stress related to uh, some perhaps younger years in life and it'll come up and give me some sort of explanation and I can also treat the stress memory in the cells from here and then again make a report and so the disrupt the hypothalamus and gallbladder connection is excellent for addictions I don't use that as much as I used to. This is the mental factors. And so basically, I'm going to click on each mental factor. Actually, you want to go value uh, of mental factors and value of neurotransmitters and then basically click below or add them into the bottom here by clicking on them and then finally you want to double click on the place where you brought them down into to provide the electrophysiological feedback for stress reduction and as well here we have the neuropeptide balance very powerful and the neuropeptide stimulation as well as the neural net stabilization so the neural net stabilization is good for particularly uh, after uh, releasing some sort of addictive behavior 
and so next thing I like to go into of course is it did covert thought patterns so the covert thought patterns basically we just click on them and then click below down here where they um, appeared and then we have the electrophysiological therapeutics and then from here we can go and activate the body viewer and we want to load the unconscious choices Okay, so we're going to close that, close that, and we close that. So that's the shotgun approach I normally use. And then we go to close. And then we go to check for current rectifications. Now, if you press for time, you just rectify all below here. If you have a little more time, you want to go to the super biofeedback electrical rectification and a disclaimer here and so basically you'll see we have a start and an end button the red flashing is suggesting I recalibrate I don't normally recalibrate unless the client is uh, feeling a little bit sensitive and as you can see it's taking a little bit of time to recalibrate so once we recalibrate it then we just click to start the rectification and so what it's going to do is going to give us a cocktail of the therapeutics that we went through and uh, electrophysiologically reduce the stress in the client so that's my shotgun approach to stress reduction with the Skio. Thanks for watching, and if you'd like to get a hold of me, you can contact me at laptopsrepaired at yahoo.com.